Gary Irving's photo composites are wild, imaginative, and surreal looks at fictional worlds. They are images unrestricted by reality. His work dynamically crosses the line between photography and painting using digital media. Irving combines elements from different photos into a single composition, the way a painter might put together their picture. One of the challenges he faces is getting the light from multiple sources to match up and blend together. In this video, we will look at the studio lighting techniques Gary uses to light his subjects. In order to have the subject fit the scene, Gary uses a large or medium octodome as a key light because it is the modifier that most closely mimics sunlight. He also uses a smaller light dome to provide fill. This combination creates well-lit subjects without much shadow, which is ideal for Gary as he may later paint in shadows to match the scene. In addition to getting the lighting right, Gary also works with a setup that allows for creative interaction with his models. Keeping the lighting relatively simple, Gary is able to move between the camera and the subject with ease. This enables him to work on a specific pose or to capture spontaneous energy. The lighting has to be right, but can't get in the way. Irving's experimentation has led him to find that this combination of a large or medium octodome together with a small light dome fill light creates the ideal light for his subjects that he will later place into photo composites. 